For this video, we're going to learn how to tell time by drawing the hands of the clock. And it's going to be within the one minute intervals. Just a reminder, you get a copy of this worksheet in the link below. All right, let's start with number one. We are given it's 8.58. So the first thing we want to do is we want to deal with the minutes hand. That's the longest hand on the clock. And to count 58, within this circle from 1 to 12, every minute hand is count by 5 for every number. So this little dot is 1, 2, 3, 4, and when we reach number 1, that's 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10. So let's make our little mark by the 5s. Okay, so I have label my clock every five minutes. We go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60. We want 58 minutes. That means 58 minutes is going to be between 55 through 60. And again, these little dots represent one. So that's 55, 56, 57, 58. So 58 is about there. So we want to draw the longhand clock. So you can use the ruler. And then we'll extend to that, pointing at that, and with a little arrow sign. And that's our 58 minutes. And now for our hour hands, it's going to be shorter. And it's going to be at the 8 o'clock, because it's 8 o'clock. Now, with the minutes, as the minutes hand spin, the hour hand will reach between the 8 and the 9 o'clock. Um, what you can do is you can just guesstimate, you know, try your best guess. For example, if the hand was pointing directly at the 8, then it would be 8 o'clock. If the hand is pointing in the middle right here, then that would be about 8.30. Since we're almost 9 o'clock, then our little hand will point here where it's almost 9 o'clock. So we'll draw our small hand. All right, there you have it, 8.58. All right, let's practice with a few more. So here we have is number two. It is currently 2.32. So we'll start with the minute 10. So what you can do is start counting by five. So you don't have to write out the whole five to 60 if you don't want to. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. At least you make a mark where it's closest to where you want to be. So at the six o'clock, I mean at the six here, it is 30 minutes for the minute hand. And then this one is 35. So 32, let's count 30, 31, 32. So 32 is right there. And that will be where our minute hand is pointing at. And then it is two o'clock, 2.32. That means it would be past this, it would be within this area right here, which represents 232. So again, all you can do is make your best guesstimate because this looks like it is near the middle. Here's our clock and it's near the middle. So therefore your hour hand is gonna be somewhere near the middle between the two and the three. Again, it doesn't have to be exact. Okay, 232. All right, go ahead and try the rest on your own and then we'll check your answers to see how you did.
Okay, how did you do? If you need more time, just pause the video. Otherwise, let's go over the answer and see how you did. Number three we have is 302. So two is one, two is gonna be right here. It's a minute hand and then it's three. So it's gonna be between here to here because it's very early then it's gonna be very close to the number three, our hour hand. All right, did you get that answer? Number four, 250. Uh, 50 would be right here. That would be our long minute hand. And then it's two, which between here and here, because it's almost three o'clock, <clears throat> so our hour hand would be just about somewhere right there. Okay, number five, it is 130. So 30, we'll go straight down to the sits. That's our minute hand. And one, between one and two, since it's already past 30 minutes, that means we're almost halfway. So it should be right here, right down the middle. So that's where our hour hand should be. Number six, we have is 12.50. So 50 is back to the 10. And then 12.50, so between 12 and one, almost one o'clock-ish, should be around here is fine. Okay, doing well so far, I hope. All right. Number seven is 9, 13. Five, 10, 11, 12, 13. So between the two and the three, that's our minute hand. And 9, 13. So very early, it's almost nine-ish. All right, number eight is 12.27. So this is 25, 26, 27. There's our minute hand and 12, almost halfway. So we'll draw just about halfway. Number nine, seven, 28. So this is 30, we can also count backward, 29, 28. So it's about right there for our minute hand. And then it's seven, so it's almost halfway between the seven and the eight. All right, how did you do? Okay, so there are a lot more available worksheets in the link below. So go ahead, check those out. Do as many as you can. Have fun.